So help you God. What was once a rare legal spectacle is now being used against Donald Trump for a second time. I want nothing. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. In 2019, then President Donald Trump was charged with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. He was acquitted. It's all a hoax, folks. It's all a big hoax. Today, Mr. Trump is being accused of inciting an insurrection in relation to last month's deadly riot on Capitol Hill. You'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. <laughs> Some of the president's allies say the trial is unconstitutional. I think this is a very bad idea. But Democrats believe Congress has the authority to do so. There must, there must be truth and accountability. We will stop the steal. CBSN's coverage of former President Trump's second impeachment trial starts now. Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. We are just about 30 minutes away from the start of former President Trump's historic second impeachment trial. He is charged with incitement of insurrection for the deadly assault on the Capitol on January 6th. Mr. Trump is the first president ever to be impeached twice and the first to face impeachment after leaving office. The Senate will decide if the former president is guilty of inciting this assault that left five people dead. His supporters stormed the Capitol building as Congress convened to count the Electoral College votes for President Biden. House impeachment managers say Mr. Trump's conduct was the, quote, most grievous constitutional crime ever committed by a president. But the former president's lawyers say the attack was, quote, planned several days in advance of the rally and therefore had nothing to do with the president's speech on January 6th. A CBS News poll finds more than half of Americans are in favor of the Senate convicting the former president, while 46 percent of Republicans believe it's very important for the party to be loyal to Mr. Trump. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer spoke earlier and addressed the upcoming impeachment trial. The Senate has a solemn responsibility to try and hold Donald Trump accountable for the most serious charges ever, ever levied against a president. Those who say, let's move on, that brings unity, are false. When you had such a serious invasion of the Capitol, incited by a president. For more on this, I want to bring in David Becker and Caitlin Huey Burns. David is a CBS News election law expert.